Hi guys, this is Karan here from One Martian Way. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you uh, a drone dropping burger that we have built for one of our clients. What you see over here is that we have modified a Phantom 2 Vision Plus drone and we have attached to it uh, our own circuitry. Uh, we have attached a gripper and we have attached a burger payload which right now is about 320 grams which is pretty much the size of the burger of a standard size burger. So let me just uh, give you a quick overview of how this mechanism actually operates. Uh, the basic idea is that we have used a camera to trigger the burger drop off. So the way it works is that the camera is right now you can see that it's uh, somewhere in between the 180 degrees and 270 degrees. Uh, so when we move the camera by means of an application that runs on your iPhone, then the camera can come from this angle right up to um, uh, the vertical angle at the bottom so that it sees the customer uh, who is standing at the bottom. We have used a reference tissue, which in this case is sort of the landing area where the burger will be dropped off. So when the camera is um, uh, about to trigger uh, the burger drop off, it moves right towards this acrylic body. And this acrylic body is of a certain length that we have used, which is uh, tied up right to the switch over here, which is glued right to the switch. Uh, and then uh, once the switch is moved, uh, that is it's activated, uh, it uh, turns on the DC motor over here. The DC motor in turns uh, opens the gripper and the gripper, uh, that's how it releases the burger. Um, so uh, let me just show you now uh, what we have uh, used in terms of the electronics. We have implemented a nine volts battery over here. Uh, you can see right there uh, the plug for the uh, plus and minus uh, and that 9 volts battery is then connected to a 6 volts regulator at the front. So this 6 volts regulator will step down the voltage from 9 volts to 6 volts which is needed to power on uh, or operate the DC motor. And uh, over here we have used just a simple switch which is uh, glued on right to the acrylic body. So. Um, uh, the way it's go the general scenario is going to be that uh, we're going to load the burger in this uh, position uh, with the actual weight, um, uh, the drone with the actual uh, burger. Then the drone is going to take off. Once the drone reaches a certain height, it's going to uh, position itself right about uh, somewhere uh, below the drop-off point. Then the camera is going to be brought right up to the trigger point. And once we are ready, we're going to uh, push the camera a little further to the right so that uh, it gives a seesaw motion to the acrylic body and then the switch will move from left to right and the burger will drop off. So uh, we have this uh, application ready on the iPad to demo to you right now. So I'll just take it in my hands. The burger is right, uh, the camera is positioned right now right at the drop off point. You can see even on the iPad that we have used the tissue, you can see the tissue and uh, also the uh, the burger itself some part of the burger so I will use this down arrow to move the camera even further and you can see the burger actually drop off so you can focus on the burger and uh, you can see that it's already dropped off now so that's how we have constructed this uh, drone now uh, I will also show you this uh, remote control that we are using because this remote control is the mechanism by which we are going to actually uh, control this drone in terms of the movement in its uh, mid-air flight. So uh, uh, we just connect uh, this remote to the drone by switching it on then uh, take the drone up in the upward directions using some of these controls uh, and then uh, make it hover or uh, do as, as many movements as we like. And then um, finally, there will be the iPhone with the app that we just showed you 
uh, and that will be triggering the camera to uh, drop off the burger.